Hello, YouTube. Welcome to episode episode part five of the Elite Four thingy. This is the champion. Hello, Cynthia. Oh yeah, by the way, it's Witty Butter here. If you didn't know, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Funny enough, it's Cynthia, as we've seen and said many times. Hmm. Yeah. Let's take her on. We'll be fine. She's only the champion of the entire region. I think that we can win. <laughs> I was trying to shake my voice there to make it sound like I was nervous, but it's. <laughs> I think, I think that it came out like I had a. I had a bit of a speech problem. I. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm not amazing at impressions of things. Anywho. Bouflant, Bouffalant, whatever, yeah. My general strategy for this lady is to... Well, it's depending on her Pokemon she's got out, because of her, um, she is, at a base form, a normal type trainer, but she does use a variety of subtypes, like Bouffalant is pure normal, but... Wait, 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 come on. Togekiss is also part flying. And she also uses a one or two other type of Pokemon. So for Bouffalant it was just to try to lower its defenses because it's normally it's quite powerful. Lucky I got a critical hit. For Togekiss it would be to just try and pray for a Paralysis because it has the ability to use Aura Sphere, which is a special fighting type move. Obviously in this generation it would be physical, so Togekiss would be a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, I did need to sand attack it because I didn't want to get hit by Aura Sphere too much. You know, it's a dangerous move. But yeah, pray for a paralysis, because that would also stop it from using Aura Sphere too much. And yeah, that's, that's generally my strategy for Togekiss. Of course, heal up when I need it as well, because that's kind of important, funnily enough. Uh, flamethrower, fun. <laughs> also got a flamethrower, a bit odd, but you know, I won't judge. Hmm. I mean, she is the champion, she probably knows how to train a Pokemon, Ugh. Anyway, uh, yep, yeah, there's the paralysis that I needed, and it's about this. It's about the region where it should be fine to kill it in one more special power, whatever it's called, something, yeah. And Leftovers is constantly helping us, because that's awesome, secret power, there we go. And... Victory! Woo! Oh, wait. Right. Mm. <laughs> We've still got four more. Yep, she has a full 16. And Galade, the male version. Oh, wait, yeah, I've mentioned. I, I got, just got deja vu, because I was about to say the male version of Galade. Although, Galade? Oh, the male version of Gardevoir. Even though Gardevoir can be a man as well. I just got deja vu, because I've said it before. Got Gorilla. <laughs> just, yeah. um, psychic fighting type, pretty cool. I did just go down in one hit, because I got a critical, but you know. Level 98, woo! Almost at level 100. Probably gonna reach it in the uh, post game. Hmm. Porygon Z, uh, the glitch Pokemon, I think. The evolution of Porygon 2, and it's very specially orientated. It's quite, quite powerful, special-wise. Plus, it can learn um, uh, mean something. Does it mean nasty plot? There we go, which ups its um, special attack, making it very deadly. Also, has one of my favourite attacks in the game, uh, Try Attack, which is a move that has a chance of para paralyzing, burning, or freezing. I think, yeah, something like that. And it's quite cool. I like it. I use it quite a lot. I trained a Porygon Z at some point. I can't remember one. Probably Generation Four, considering it came out then. But yeah, it's good. I like it. My strategy for him was pretty much the same as Bouffalant, just try and take it down, lower its defense a bit, pray that it doesn't destroy me. <laughs> yeah. I don't get a critical hit on him though, which is upsetting. It would have been it would have made things a lot simpler for me. But no, of course not. He is in the, the tradition of having Dark Bomb though. Luckily I don't get an accuracy drop from it. If I did get an accuracy drop, that might have really played badly for me later on in the battle, you know, because there are a lot of times when I actually really need to be able to hit the opponent, <laughs> as you could guess. Ah, Garchomp. This is her signature Pokemon, and I, I don't know 
Obviously, I've not been keeping up with the meta game, but I think it's still an Uber because it got moved up. But you know, I'm not entirely sure. I'm I'm sure it'll be told in the comments, which is good. Thank you, thank you in advance. Um, yeah. Um, very very powerful, very fast and strong. It's Ground Dragon, so it's four times weak to ice, which is something. Um, it is obviously your basic sweeper. My, gen my my tactic here was a bit different. It was generally survive and pray that it misses or does below half one time. So yeah, and then I could get off a hit or a um, uh, uh, a sand attack to lower its accuracy, because that way it will be it will make. Um, Actually, me taking damage a lot rarer, and it will let me have more opportunity to attack, which is needed. Very, very much needed. Yeah. Um. And that's pretty much how it plays out. Because it, do it is a bit more. It's one of the more tedious Pokemon that she has against me. And that's understandable, because Garchomp is a very good Pokemon. And I am battling it with a with Patrat. And so, yeah. It's perfectly reasonable for it to take a while. Don't judge me! Um, yeah. I think we actually managed to get a hit off soon. I still like hope. Um, hmm. Okay, Earthquake again. Very nice. You'd think Pamela would learn to just jump before the ground shakes, but no. Um, <laughs> oh, if only that was an option. Yeah. I guess that is the only way that you'd be able to miss with an earthquake. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. I think it's soon. Yeah, there we go. Now we can actually get a hit off and. Yeah, cool. Still manages an earthquake, but at least now I've done some damage to it. And I think I get a critical hit on my second hit, which is very, very useful. <laughs> I mean, oh, paralysis was very, very useful actually. Yeah. That slows it down, meaning I can get the first hit in, and it gives it more chance to not be able to do something, which is awesome. But I do, th I do think I get a critical hit as my second attack, so that takes it down a lot faster, which is good because otherwise this would be 15 minutes of just me battling a Garchomp, knowing my luck at least. <laughs> yeah, Outrage, another move that we haven't seen before. Outrage is a Dragon type move. Um, it does damage over three turns. You can't stop it. And, yeah, at the end of those turns, it confuses the user. I don't know why, but it does balance it quite nicely. And I think it actually helps in this battle. I hope it does. Because I just, it, I keep reminding myself as things happen. And I think, I think it helps. I hope it helps. <laughs> I'm rooting for myself here. Uh, okay, he's confused. Come on, you can do it, you can hit yourself. Yeah! Woohoo! Cool. Um, <laughs> first time in a while I've been lucky in a big battle. It's good. And I think this critical hit please me. Yeah, woo. We are awesome. And Garchomp is down. Yeah. Alright. And it's almost over. Rose Raid. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> After battling a Garchomp, Rose Raid is a bit... It's, it's just not as impressive really, is it? Yeah. Uses a uses toxic. Um, I figure that I will just risk it at this point because the chances are very unlikely that toxic will actually manage to take me down before I actually manage to take down the Rosa raid. Especially considering I do about two thirds damage. Mm. The paralysis would have been nice because it meant I would have won straight away, but she had a lumberry. Mm. Pedal dance is a move that's a bit odd. Um, you'd think it would be a stat boosting move, and it does a lot of damage, but for some reason I don't understand why it does damage. It's a dance. But like, do they like, do a pirouette and then just kick Pamela in the face? I, <laughs> um, I don't know, picturing that, it's, it's quite hilarious. <laughs> We're done! Yeah! Woo! You fall in defeat. Oh yeah! We are the most powerful trainers and the newest champion, and we have lots of money! Awesome. And this is I've left this in deliberately because it's you know, it's one of the final failed evolutions we're ever gonna have. So, you know, it's just 
appreciate it while it's there. <laughs> yeah. We, we, this is just the ending scene. And it's the end of the story. Today, we're done. Um, hmm. Bit late on that one, May. Don't you? <laughs> yes, we've won. It is over. Hmm. Hey, Butch! See, he, um, he actually analyzes your Pokedex here. It's kind of... It's kind of funny. Um, hmm. I've seen my... <laughs> I've caught one Pokemon. Yay! Oh. Yeah. Nationwide, I have actually caught more. Six. That's, that's five more. A whole five. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well. It's fine. Get lost, May. This is my time to shine. Yeah. Groan. Who says groan? I, I, well, at least I've never met anyone who literally just goes groan when they want to groan. Normally it's just like, oh. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, big important room. Yeah. The Hall of something? Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame, yeah. Yeah, woo. I have one partner. <laughs> Not partners, Cynthia. Not partner. Yeah. Right, this is the amazing endo cutscene. <laughs> Where I just scroll through the same six Pokemon over and over. Alright. So, at this point, I think it's time to talk about the future of me. My channel, Let's Plays. Okay. Now, um, I have decided on, on one of two games I'd like to play. And it's up to you to pick one of them. They both have, like, different fan bases and stuff. And I do think you're going to lean towards one over the other. I said it earlier. But, you know, just, just for the chance of it. Um... It's definitely going to be live commentary, and it's going to be a blind run. I haven't played through either of the games that I'm going to suggest at all. I've played the first little bit to make sure it works, but aside from that, I have no idea what I'm going to run into. So, um, without further ado, first up, we have Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury, I think. It's, um, it's an RPG kind of thing, except it's not like Pokemon, obviously, because it's Dragon Ball Z. And you've got the the movie Bouty and the Kiki and the shooty laser beamies. I <laughs> I've never played it before, and it's quite cool. I think I played the game before it when I was a kid, and yeah, I, I enjoyed it then. The second game is another Pokemon hack. It's called Pokemon Snakewood. It's quite it's quite well received. It's basically Pokemon if it were in a zombie invasion. <laughs> There are zombie Pokemon that you can catch and stuff like that. It also comes with a list of achievements, so I will work on making some sort of, gra oh, I'm sorry, some sort of graphic, so that I can just like pop up achievements. I could, I, I could actually get achievements. Chiefs. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit of an achievement hunter. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, those are the games, and uh, I will put them in the description in case. My voice wasn't clear. The titles, but... Yeah, they're both very good in their own way. And um, Dragon Ball Z is fun, and it's kind of wandering around the BT people up -y. And it, if you've seen the anime, you can you can know how over-the-top ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous it is. Um, but if you've ever fantasized about Pokemon in a zombie invasion, that, that would appeal to you. Yeah. Um... So yeah, vote for one of those, please, and uh, you've got a bit of time to do that, because there's going to be a couple of, like, post-game videos on Sky first, hunting down legendaries and stuff, yeah. But, I guess, during these credits, I know it's not the end of this series, the Flora Sky series, but I, I do want to say, th seriously, thank you to everyone who's watched, and I know there's not many of you who have actually watch the whole thing, and I know I'm not the most popular of YouTubers, but I think I really do appreciate you guys, and, you know, I, I really wouldn't be anywhere without you, on here at least. I probably wouldn't have given up if absolutely no one watched my videos. I, all I want from being a YouTuber is just one person who appreciates what I try to do. But, um, I guess I'll wrap it up. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please vote, and adieu!